sometimes just holding their head up a little tighter. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Now, hang on to the end of it. All right. Now, you're going to walk straight towards distractions. That's everybody in here. Now, this dog has to understand she's to be paying some attention to you at all times. Good. Good dog. So warm up doesn't have to be a heavy skin on fast feet. Warm up, warm up just means she's not to go up and talk to strangers. She's not to go after other dogs. She's not to do any of that stuff. She's your partner. Now she's so used to you being controlling. We won't mention any names. <laughs> well, Karen's doing the same thing. You got out of there trying to do the same thing. Okay, the dog has to decide to pay attention because if you're not doing it right, this terrier's gonna tell you. That's why I can stand in the middle and I can talk to each specific dog because they know very well what I would do. They are accountable to me. Good. Oh, we'll see Kathy. Now this dog, you've taken away her decision making. By holding the lead tight, what has she got to decide? Nothing. I'm giving her a choice. The girl rose. Very nice job. The girl. If you have to drag her or bribe her to get her to care about you, got a problem. You're very quiet. You also have to praise. Good dog. Good dog. Good dog. Is, is, that isn't praise. That's just noise. So, when they give praise from me, excellent dog. Oh, what a good job. Look at you. Look at you. When you do that, the dog feels like it's actually done something. So if she gets the same praise for doing it with very little effort, and she gets the same praise for really putting something into it, why would you bother? Just like us. Hi, you. Now, this cue walker allows you to lighten up on her, and you know very well she's not going to go anywhere. This is where she needs the praise, just like when we were going through that scenario. She needs to know this is fun. Otherwise, it's drudgery. Hi, you. Come on. Me. Good girl. Think about it. Good girl. Yeah, okay. Good. Come on. Me. You're not working her with any of Good. She's heavy on the lead. Good girl. You don't care. Good. It's me. Wait. Oh, look at that silly puppy. You're fine. Good girl. Look at you. Good girl, Rose. If she has a leader, she would want to go after that dog. She goes after the dogs because she's afraid. You need to not just use the equipment, you need to really use the equipment. It's a training tool um, to maintain the training you've done. It's not to teach them to drag around. It's to teach this dog what you actually want her to do without you having to have a death grip on the lead. Now I have a lead, but it's loose as can be. Good girl. Look at how cute you are. Now, in a terrier, if she was worried and something came up to her, that would be prime conditions for her to bite you in the leg. That's where the muzzle isn't a bad idea. Because it's not that she's going to pull you down, but a terrier that's upset is going to grab something. Now, you could 
do this. But if you're not me, a muscle would let you relax. Good girl. Not getting quite enough praise for the effort she's putting in. Good girl. So when you praise, it can't just be white noise. It's got to be legitimate praise. She shouldn't be afraid to be here with you, but you hold her back because you're worried. Don't. The muzzle would help you relax. And she's got to have some of, okay, get a better button. Easy. Good girl. Good, easy. See, she's not used to anybody coming up. There you go. With me, Rose. Very nice with me, dog. Very nice. At a dog show, they don't get petted. Nobody touches them, they got all their hairspray on. So they go, and all these thousands of people, and that's how it works. So this dog was never properly socialized as a pet. She was never taught to be polite with other dogs. She's worried about other people. What would that be in a child? Lack of socialization. A little bit more like you trust yourself. Now, she's coming to give you a hug. Now, she's worried. All right, that's enough. Thank you. See, that's enough, Susie. No, that's enough. Terrier-like. Now, you're still bent over with your hands here. Why wouldn't she think you'd still going to pet her? Okay, now you're going to walk. Tell her with me. Good girl. With me. Don't tell her like you like her. Good, Good girl. girl. Good with me. Good girl, Rose. With me. Good girl. Now stop and at, at least say a word or something. Good. Hello. Yeah. Good now you girl. shake hands with Mary Pat. Yes. Exactly. No, shake hands. Good girl, Rose. Good girl, Rose. See, she doesn't know that you even are friendly to people. Because we walk past them. Good girl, Rose. How are you? How are you? There. Good girl, Rose. With me. With me, Rose. What a good with me dog. Good girl. Good with me. Dog. Good with me, Rose. Look at her. Good with me, Rose. Let's go this way. Bet. Good girl. Can you say hi? No. Mm -hmm. She doesn't need to go say hi to dogs. Good with me. Good with me. I want to see her reaction. But she didn't do anything, did she? No. So you need to make sure you praise that, but don't set them there nose to nose. Yeah. It's sharp, right? It's just sharp turns. Okay, is that accountability? No. No. All right, come back here. All right, you're bad. I would. Good dog. She knows this stuff. But what she's doing is getting to the end of that lead so she doesn't have to watch you. And you fall for it. The only cure for that is accountability. Think about it. Crazy. Not with me? Good. Set her up. If we're going to walk by distractions, I would. Good dog. Oh, these are, 
these dogs are so easy to train. But you can't do it by just hoping or being nice. Nice. You knew that was coming. <laughs> now walk towards something, just like you're in the right mind. Good job. Now go the other way right now. Nice. Get your hand down. There you go. You're giving her a good girl. Get her enthusiastic. She kind of rhymes enthusiastically. Good dog. That's what it's supposed to look like. Nice. Don't walk straight line. I mean, don't walk along. Walk towards and then away. If you walk along the wall, you're, she's going to be in everybody. Don't you shorten it. Walk straight towards Claudia. Yep. Good. Nice. Tell her how wonderful she is. Oh, yes, you're a good girl. Yes, you're a good girl. Right now. Beautiful. Good. Well, you avoided that confrontation. Now, no, you're now just starting to do your short little, look at, want to grab the lead, wrap it around her hand. Good job. All right. Nice. Now that dog is warmed up. Okay, good girl. You've got dogs that are kind of bored. Games are the best. Good girl. Come on. Come on. There you go. There you go. Now, just like when Claudia was working Chloe, get up here. Good girl. There you go. Switch hands if you need to. Don't, don't do that. Yeah, there you go. Now, you want this dog with you. It doesn't matter actually where she gets your hand down. Look at that. Good job. And that would be an opportunity to just get the dog over there. But this is what you need. Look at that dog walk. Good girl. Get her. Good girl. That's it. Good girl. Now the hard thing okay. when you start to shorten the lead is that now the dog has the opportunity to tighten the lead for you and then not really have to pay attention. So you end up kind of dragging the dog around. Good girl. Oh, that worked here, Run. Good girl. Okay. All right, Judy, you ready? That's good, Karen. Okay. No, we're just getting it. <laughs> Wasn't that fun? Now that's what it's supposed to look like, not that silly stuff you were doing out there. Look at that dog having a good time now. There you go. By, by taking, by commenting, and you're commenting just by giving her a little bump, you're saying you care. If you just get your lead fixated, good girl. then you're saying, I don't really care what you do, just don't leave me. Good girl. You don't know that. that. Good girl. Okay, good girl. That makes sense to you, my dear? Yeah. I mean, she's happy. look at the difference. Okay. Now, we're not in obedience mode. We're having a good time. This is show mode. Come on, dog. Now, you can shorten the lead just a shade because she's warmed up, so now you're showing her. Not the pacing or anything. Let's go. Give her a bump. Get up here. Good girl. That's it. Good. Give her girl. one right there. Go around that corner. Good. Good job. Off. Nice. Hey, you off. Good. Come on. Come here, right there. Good. Right where you step on the gas going around the corner. Off. Nice. Good job. Praise her. Good girl. Good job. You'll find that if you do it correctly a few times, you won't have to do it. Because Good. if it's just a cold, that's no big deal. Nice. By the time Claudia gets her warmed up, Claudia's going to be worn up. <laughs> but 
that's what an athletic dog is. They do wear you up. That's why you better make it efficient with her. Nice. Good. Good job. Get her right there. She's slow down. That's it. You're going to go in the mess and show ring. You better not have her check it out. Nice. You can make any kind of pattern you want. This is when you really maneuver the dog. This is a lot of dog. And she's pushing. Wait. Now, it's important, the left turns are very important with a dog like this. Oh. Look at how pushy she is. Oh. So you can oh. use that cane to back her off rather than have to correct her. She's a lot of dog. And she would like to go much faster. You couldn't keep up with her. And Dale can't keep up with her. I couldn't keep up with her. I don't know anybody in here who could. So it's her that has to oh. change. There. See, Dale flips it. See how he does that? He's a evil. <laughs> but you know what? These dogs go everywhere with their heads. <laughs> it's fine. Now, with this setup, you can also weave in and out. So go ahead and do that. Yep. So you can get a lot of different maneuvers out of this. So it's a zig and zag, not a weave. Yeah, you don't want to get into weaving. Nice. So he can do all sorts of stuff. Oh. So if you've got the stick in your hand, and the dog knows what you will do with oh. it, all he has to do is say the word, and he doesn't have to do anything, because the dog respects it, obviously. Wait, is logic? OK, now I'm going to say forward. Forward! Look at her. Dale, you forgot. <laughs> she's such a dear dog. And she see, this is not challenging for this dog. But she does it, and this is why Dale can take these dogs anywhere, because he makes her do it. But 5K graining is probably one of the best training patterns for turns. It's nothing but figure eights. But the what this does is keeps you paying attention to where you're going. There you go. All right. Now you're going to go around the, the center one first. So you would be kind of in the center over here. Okay. Now, when you have a big dog, like the three over here, Teaching them to bend around a turn is really important. Small dogs have to bend too, but you take a dog the length of Kelly, well, all three of them actually, this dog is, it's not natural and you have to teach that. So you want tight turns so they get right out of your way. Okay, Nice. So when the dog starts to go slower on the turns, your knee then can give them just a little bit of a nudge. Nice. The stick keeps them off your leg because that dog would want to crowd you. Nice. Get away from giving them so many commands. Good girl. You're 
learn to make decisions rather than need commands on the Yeah, fair. Good girl. Good girl. Yes. Beautiful. Good job. Now, some dogs really kind of fight you on a turn. Might be right turns, might be left turns. In this exercise, you can concentrate on doing actually both of them, but you're concentrating on one at a time. So, you know the exercise where you come up through the center and across and then back through? Okay, so you can work both sides. You can do right turns on one side, left turns on the other, whatever you want to do. right turns and she can concentrate. She could actually hold the stick behind her a bit. There you go. There you go. There you go. So you can concentrate on whichever turn. Nice. Nice. See what a difference it makes in just that one time. Okay, you can go to the left this time. Now left turns slow your dog down to control, you're taking the space. Right turns are game. So when all you do is right turns, the dog will come up. But this helps you work the turns outside of the show. And it's controlled, so it would be very good for you to set up something. That was very nice. That's a nice exercise. That makes sense to everybody? Cool. Well, we all got a little bit of healing. Um, <clears throat> don't let it get boring. You can set up any kind of pattern you want. I love the cones for that reason. But you don't have no cartons or anything like that. The same thing. Um, it's well worth messing around with.